I'm live and I hope y'all are doing well today. If you're not familiar with me, if you haven't taken one of my classes, my name is Feather, Heather, whatever you feel like calling me. So today we're going to do our normal Monday night vinyan. I plan an hour, but we might go a little bit less than an hour. You always have an option to stop the video and pause it to stay in some of the poses at the end a little bit longer. Um, I just don't want you guys to have to look at me in these poses for a long time. Um, so press pause and take about 10 breaths if you do so in the pose, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I'll always guide for 10 breaths. So. While everyone's still logging in and all that good stuff is still happening, we're going to go over a props list. So today I'm going to recommend grabbing a bolster or bolster substitute. We know that you guys don't have bolsters at home for the most part, and I know that Natalie is the only one with me right now. So hi, Natalie. Um, so listen to my soap opera for a minute. Um, <laughs> if you don't have a bolster, um, uh, there is a possibility to use a um, a couch cushion, a pillow, or a folded up blanket, anything like that. Block or block substitute, really anything, workbox, um, book, anything, um, and a blanket. If you want to use one, go for it. If you know you like to use one in class, definitely grab one. All right, so while I let some other people get here with us, I'm going to get my space set up. I hope everyone can hear all right. All right. Got to grab a blanket, too. All right, so go ahead and find a comfortable seat in your space. Maybe it's crisscross applesauce supported on a blanket. Maybe it's sitting on the ground, or maybe even start a bath. Do something that's going to make you feel good today. And when you sit, settle into stillness, let yourself get any wiggles or wobbles out of your spine, out of your neck that feel like they need to be gotten out right now. A lot of us are staying home during the day, so we might need to move a little extra during these times. Maybe you take some seated cat cows. Maybe you take some seated rolls to your spine. Whatever feels good for you here. But if you're comfortable with it, allow your eyes to close and just feel into your body for two more breaths. On this exhale, let yourself settle into stillness. With your hands on your lap. Palms facing down for a grounding energy. Allow yourself to begin focusing on your breath if you're not already doing so. And feeling the physicality of your breath move through your body. Physically feeling the air move through your throat, into your chest, and filling up through your diaphragm. And then feeling your diaphragm shrink and push out the air as your chest becomes more narrow and your throat feels the vibration of that air on its way out. Let yourself bring in this energy of feeling from the throat to the ribs and the belly. Here's your skull. Belly. Ribs. Breathe it in, throat, <laughs> ribs, belly, Alice, stop. Exhale, belly, ribs, throat. One more on your own breath. And let it go potentially with a sigh. Let yourself settle into your seat any taller that you possibly can, perhaps rolling backwards onto your tailbone slightly and 
lifting from the bottom part of your ribs so that you get nice and tall. One of my teachers says that we should not carry our ribs around like a lampshade when they're meant to be hung like a chandelier. So let that energy rise up through your head, allowing your shoulders to drape down like the delicate layers of a chandelier and feel your ribs supported, not only by your bones when we face from the downside, but by your muscles here. Today we're going to be working on a lot of grounding, a lot of really slowing down and listening to your body. So at this point in time, take a small body scan starting at the top of your head, noticing any sensations, vibrations, feelings, tensions, or easy spots. Maybe even noticing something outside of that range as you move down through your face. Noticing any feelings or sensations down the back of your head, into your neck, moving downwards through your neck, through your shoulders, feeling this almost like a weighted blanket down into your arms, moving into your forearms, wrists become heavy and weighted, hands and fingers. Let yourself trace line back up your inner arms, back to your armpit areas, and then trace a line across to your chest with your mind's eye, and begin feeling through your chest, scanning for any sensations that might arise, moving down into your ribs, the bottom portions, feeling your stomach and all the internal organs, Noticing any vibrations or feelings that might be associated with it right now. Noticing your hips, front, back, sides, and insides. And noticing your seat bones, feeling yourself grounded and supported here. Let yourself feel into your legs. Noticing any sensations that arise and at the same time letting them feel heavy, rounded and weighted to your knees, down into your calves, through your ankles and onto the tops of your feet, noticing any sensations that arise there. Notice your toes. And then notice the bottoms of your feet. Noticing any sensations that might come from there. And even though some of us are sitting crisscross applesauce, most of us don't have our soles planted on the ground. You can still feel the grounding energy through the soles of your feet. So let yourself embrace that and try and bring it back up through your body with the in-breaths for the last three breaths in our meta meditation. On the next exhale, let your fingertips touch down towards the ground on either side of the body. Straight arms, relax shoulders. Inhale to reach your hands up over your head. Touch your hands together as your gaze comes up. Exhale to touch your fingertips back down to the ground using full breath to motion as you tuck your chin downward. Inhale to raise your hands up. up. Full breath to motion. Fill it up and stop when your hands touch. Exhale to radiate your hands back down as your chin tucks in towards your chest. Take it nice and slow three more times, inhaling up, use that full breath to motion. 
Exhale to rest those fingertips down. One more. Bringing some energy to your practice. Keep your chin tucked in towards your chest this time as your fingertips touch the ground. And on the next inhale, roll your right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, roll chin to chest. Inhale, roll left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, keep it going. Taking it back and forth just about two more times on each side. Maybe one that's actually physically watching the video. Now you'll notice that I did the same side twice. I realized that the screen is not mirroring me. It's doing the same thing as me. Last time here, exhale, bring your head back to center. Inhale to raise your hands up, gaze comes up, hands are open this time. And exhale to roll forward to your hands and knees. Removing any props that you may have used to get settled here. And stacking your knees, wrists under shoulders for awesome alignment. Let your spine be nice and flat, taking out any curve from your spine and your toes are curled under here. Inhale to cow pose, drop your belly, squeeze your shoulder blades, gaze up. Exhale to cat pose, uncurl your toes, press the tops of your feet against the ground to get higher into your arms. Inhale to cow pose, drop the belly, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale to cat pose, raise your heart, tuck the, or untuck those toes. Inhale to cow, last time here. And exhale to cat. Stay pose big. Inhale, pop up between your shoulder blades. And exhale to neutral tabletop. Inhale to curl your toes underneath. And exhale to raise your hips back and up. First down dog of the evening, maybe. Maybe you've been taking our classes all day. If so, A A, A plus. But if not, your legs probably need some stretching. So keep that walk going. For just a couple more breaths here, beginning to level out any imbalances that may be standing. Let me use that last exhale to settle into stillness. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale to take baby steps to where your hands are. Little mini steps, take as many as you possibly can to that spot. Inhale to halfway lift, extend through your spine. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale to halfway lift, extend through your spine. Press that energy down through your feet. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale to halfway lift, press that energy down into your feet. Feel it lift back up through your body. Take an exhale here. And on the next inhale, stand all the way up to mountain pose, bringing your hands above your head. Exhale to cactus your arms, shine your heart, mini back bend. Inhale to raise your hands above your head. Exhale to swan dive down to the ground. Inhale to halfway lift, extend through your spine. Exhale to forward bend, plant your hands, step back into plank and drop your knees down. Option to keep your knees up if you'd like to. If you drop those knees down and notice your spine side in the line, go ahead and straighten it out from knees to hips to heart. Big inhale here. Exhale to chaturanga all the way down to the ground, keeping the rear end high and actually engage the back muscles to press up just a little bit more. Big inhale here. Exhale to slide your bottom half back and down. Inhale to baby cobra pose, lift your heart, little to no weight in your hands. Exhale to melt down. Inhale to baby cobra. Exhale to melt down. Last 
one, inhale to baby cobra. Maybe those hands flow and your shoulders roll back a little bit further. I exhale to melt down. Press your hands firmly against the ground. Inhale to tabletop position. Correct it on the exhale. Inhale to curl your toes under. And exhale to downward facing dog. Raise those hips back and up. Maybe find some circles through your hips. Maybe find a little bit more walking. Take what you need here. And then begin to settle in. Use that next exhale to settle into stillness completely if you're not already there. Inhale to gaze forward to the front of your space. Exhale to step forward to the space between your hands. Inhale, find that halfway lift, straight spine, engaged core. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to reverse dive up, mountain pose. And exhale to cactus. Take a big inhale here into your heart space. And exhale to relax your shoulders down and back through your spine. Inhale to reach high. Exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale to lift that right knee up. And exhale to kick it back for your high lunge. Hands at heart center. Take a big inhale to lift your pinky slightly up towards the ceiling. Press into that back heel just to get some straightness between your two hips. To get some levelness. And then let yourself soften through that back heel and your front knee. Keeping your hips level with one another. The heart is slightly lifted. And on the next inhale, watch your hands as they stay together and come up above your head. Little balance challenge here, especially if you're working on carpet like I am. Maybe you can begin to trace the line backwards with those hands pressing together. Maybe you start to wobble a little bit. Wobbles are allowed. Take one more big breath in here. Slow exhale, draw your hands back to heart center, trying to avoid falling out of this. Inhale to draw your heart forward, straighten out your spine. Exhale to prayer twist towards the left. Let yourself get deep in that front knee. And instead of resting the right elbow down, you find a little lift here. Depending on what level you want to engage your core, this might be awesome. Press into that top hand. Oof, no matter where you are. In fact, stay on carpet is hard, friends. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring your front foot. Inhale back to plank. And exhale, drop to your knees. Inhale to lift forward and up through your heart, straightening out that knee plank. And exhale, lower all the way down to the earth, keeping the rear end up. Really squeezing that low back. It's like you're pulling your heart and your knees together and you want to bunch the yoga mat up between them. And on the next exhale, flatten your back out. Inhale to baby cobra, lift through your heart. Exhale to melt in. Inhale, baby cobra, roll your shoulders back, press into your toes, lift through your heart. Exhale to melt down. One more inhale, baby cobra. Lift, maybe those hands lift up this time, rolling those shoulders back more. And exhale to melt your heart down. Inhale, come up to your tabletop. And exhale, correct it. Take an inhale to curl your toes under. And exhale to press your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Sigh it out, horse lifts, anything's available. Horse slips is always my favorite. Take one more good, refreshing breath like that and let it go. <sighs> Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale to move forward to the front of your space. Inhale to halfway lift, extend through your spine. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale to reverse dive up, mountain pose. Exhale to cactus your arms, shine your heart, big inhale into your heart space. And exhale to relax through your shoulders. Inhale to reach your hands up high. 
and exhale, draw them to heart center. Inhale to lift your left knee up this time, standing staff. And exhale to kick that thing back, high lunge. Bringing those thumbs to the sternum, if not already there. Press into your back heel slightly to lift that left hip forward. And drop into your right knee a little bit, bringing that hip in line with the left. And then into your heel and your knee a little bit more, keeping your hips as aligned as possible. Inhale to press up through your pinky, keeping your thumbs attached to your sternum. Here, key part. On the next inhale, watch your hands as they rise above you, finding that beautiful crescent lunge in a full expression here. Maybe finding a little bit of extra balance challenge. Let each inhale lift you from both sides of your ribs, front and back. And each exhale, soften into your knee and heel a little bit more. Take one more big inhale here. And exhale, draw your hands to heart center, slowly and carefully, making sure you don't fall out. Inhale, your spine, and exhale, prayer twist towards the right. Once again, you don't need to have that arm down. I don't think you can see beyond my hair, but you can be hovering here, and you can see that I'm engaging a lot on that right of my body because I'm hovering. But then if I come down and press, you see I'm getting more of a twist here. Take a big inhale. And exhale and melt your hands down, praying your front foot. Inhale back to your plank. And exhale, drop your knees down. Inhale to straighten out your spine, lift through your heart, forward and up. Exhale to melt down, keeping your high knee up. One last time. Squeeze that low back. Once again, like you want to bunch up your mat. And exhale to surrender down. Completely. Inhale the baby cobra, little snow in those hands. Exhale to melt down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, melt down. Last one. Inhale, maybe lift those hands up. Exhale to melt down. Find your hands stacked one on top of the other. Through your forehead here. Allowing yourself some space so you don't crush your nose. And simply feel the space that we created. Feel your breath. Pulsate the floor towards and away from you. Pulsate your body further and closer to earth. And begin to find balance once again between your inhalations and exhalations. Take one more breath here. And once again, find your hands under your shoulders. Inhale up to tabletop. And exhale to widen your knees. Sit back into your child's pose. This time, your gaze can come in front of you. Or forehead down to the ground to find third massage, rocking back and forth. Take one more breath here. And then next inhale, find your tabletop position once again. Inhale, curl your toes under. Exhale the downward facing dog last time here. You can stop and walk her out if you want. You can find any extra motions you want. I like to dip one knee way over the other and get a little extra side body stretch in. Take about one more breath to find any motions that you need. And take your exhale to soften into the areas that you can. Inhale to gaze forward. And exhale to step to the outsides of your wrists this time. Toes pointing away from you. It's all face towards you guys. And to the interior of your squat. 
So here's probably where you might want to use your block. Maybe to sit it under you. Maybe you don't. <sighs> Wherever you are, use your next inhale to remind yourself that your chest is a chandelier, not a lampshade. Lift from your crown upwards, straightening your spine. And exhale to root down through your tailbone. Inhale to lift through your heart, your head, your spine. Exhale to root down through your tailbone. One more breath here. Inhale here. And exhale to drop your fingertips down. Inhale to lift your hips, twist your heels out. Level your feet to parallel. And exhale to come forward and down into your prasarita, wide-legged forward bend. Maybe you find your hands pressing under your shoulders here to get deeper into the pose. Maybe you have really arms like me and you can rest your forearms down. Maybe you find some peace fingers on your big toes. Last option that I'm going to give you guys tonight is maybe you interlace your fingers at your low back and press forward or upward with your knuckles. Take whichever variation feels nourishing to you for the last three breaths here. On this exhale, let your hands flutter back down under your shoulders if they've moved at all. Inhale to halfway lift, extend through your spine. Then exhale to forward, bend towards the front of your mat again. Press your hands towards the ground and heel toe your feet in towards. Inhale to reverse dive at the front of your mat, all the way up, hands above your head. And exhale, draw your hands to heart center, thumbs against your sternum. And take a few deep breaths, simply feeling what it's like to be alive. Feeling your feet once again against the ground. Rooted, we rise. Just like a tree, the stronger our roots, the stronger we can be above. So take this time to really feel into that earthing, grounding energy. As we say thank you and salud to our standing practice tonight, Let's send it off with gratitude. And on the next inhale, bring your hands back above your head, mountain pose. Exhale to draw your hands all the way back down to the ground, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward, then plant your hands back into your tabletop. At this point in time, Go ahead and grab your props or your prop substitutes. If you missed the beginning of this video, no problem at all. We're going to drop into some yin poses now. If you don't have a bolster, you can use something like these pillows. They're just regular couch pillows. This one's a little bland, so grab whatever you can that can substitute for a bolster and possibly a blanket at this time. I'll give you about a minute to get all set up. If you are already waiting and already ready with all of your props, we'll meet in a child's pose, supported on that lovely bolster, or bolster substitution. That'll bring your bolster between your thighs, just about halfway between your knee and your hip, is where the beginning of that bolster is. Take an inhale, lift your hands directly above your head, lift through your crown of your head, really lengthen your spine, and exhale to fold over your bolster. Your arms can soften to the sides, and one of your cheeks can come down onto the mat as your eyes close. Let yourself feel into the breath in your hips. And if you're just joining us, I think I saw you in. Let yourself grab both.
bolster or bolster substitute for the last part of this class. If you did choose one cheek down on the bolster, let the other cheek come down to rest, switching the direction of your face. Take deep, relieving breaths into your hips. And on the exhale, somehow relieving through your spine, whether it be upper, middle, or lower. I know right now, personally, I'm feeling this in my very much lower spine by my sacrum. Let yourself feel it wherever your body needs to. We'll take just about two more big breaths here. Begin to level your head out once again and press your hands against the ground to slowly rise back up to your seat, trying to keep that spine straight this time. Roll out your shoulders at the top. Kind of move that bolster or bolster substitution just a little bit closer towards the front space of your mat. We're going to go ahead and just turn around and place the hips towards the bolster pillow or whatever you're working with today. Press your fingertips against the ground, try your hips, letting your wrists stay high, and inhale to lift your chest up. Exhale to walk backwards over your bolster for a supported Lord of the Fish pose. Let your hands face up if available for your shoulders. And let your toes point out actively towards the bottom end of your mat. Let yourself breathe here. We'll be here for two minutes. So really just let yourself feel all of the sensations that are moving through your body, perhaps taking a small body scan again. Or one of my favorite things to do in a pose like this is notice all the areas that are touching the earth. And simply tuning in to what those areas feel like in contrast to the rest of my body. And somehow integrating the two beginning to dull the line between grounded and ungrounded. Feeling that even the rise and the fall of your heart and chest space is that of a ground activity at this point in time. Only be here for a few more breaths. Deep and deep. One more full breath here. Take it deep just for the health of it. Let yourself begin to wake back up, opening those eyes, bring your chin towards your chest, tucking it and making sure that your neck stays safe as you begin to sit back up towards your seat. Once again, roll your shoulders out as you arrive at the top. Now I'm going to face towards the camera here to better demonstrate. We're going to spread the legs out nice and wide. Maybe you're as wide as me, maybe you're wider, maybe you're less wide. It's not a comfort to yoga. So bring that bolster in between your legs, pillow, bolster, substitute, whatever you got. And take an inhale to lift your hands above your head. And exhale to surrender forward and down onto your bolster. Let yourself breathe here. Once again, deeply into your hips.
letting anything that shows up be present only as long as it is present. If you feel something show up in your hips, take note to it and breathe through it. If it doesn't seem to leave, then let yourself physically adjust and then come back in. Noticing if we can move some of the blockages out of our body physically, that arise metaphysically. Maybe your arms are still up on the bolster like me. Maybe they're on the ground. Maybe your chin or cheek is down. If you didn't choose cheek, begin to sweep over the other side if you've been there this whole time. If not, I'll let you know when we're halfway through this portion of this pose. Take a moment to check in with your toes, noticing if they're flexed or pointing. Try and flex those feet just a little bit, just enough to activate your hamstrings a little bit more. If you had just put your cheek down, switch it to the other side. And take three more full yogi breaths here. Around about eight counts in and eight counts out. On your next inhale, begin to level out your spine and press your fingers to come back up to your seat. Roll out your shoulders at the top and move that bolster buddy from your space just for now. Keep it close though. So, I know that we're all at home right now and most of us have access to a wall. What we're gonna do next is with that bolster buddy moved out of the space, is either put it against the wall or find a blanket, roll it up slightly like you would for meditation, and put it against the wall. Whatever seems better for you, you can also use a pillow, like I've been saying. I'm going to use the bolster today. So, with that bolster right up against the wall, what we're going to do is find ourselves on our backs right next to it. And then gently begin to lift the hips up, the legs up the wall, and level out your spine to be exactly perpendicular from the wall. Now, if you're like me and you have a short torso, notice your hips are quite far from the wall, that's a-okay. If you're right up against the wall, even better. We're all human, we're all little difference in our builds. So let yourself work with what you're working with. Let your eyes close down here. Feeling the grounding energy of your shoulders as we lift the opposite part of our bodies. Toes can be pointed or flexed here. But let your knees be easy. Let your breath be steady. And let your mind be still. Once again, feeling the grounding energy and pulling it up through your body. Perhaps even up to usually the most grounded part of our body is our feet, which is very far from which right now. Let yourself take about four more breaths here. Once again, big, deep, eight count in, eight count out yoga breaths.
Noticing if your mind begins to drift. And from here, begin to bend your knees and press your feet against the wall, bringing your hands down to the earth. And if your shoulders are healthy, begin to press your feet into the wall to lift into a supported shoulder stand. Let yourself breathe here, trying to press. <laughs> if your hips were closer to the wall, it might be easier for you, but trying to press your hips over your shoulders as much as allowed by your body. Just help not breathe here. This pose, I've heard a lot of people say that they can't breathe here. So if that's you, begin to sink your hips down slightly until you can breathe again. Otherwise, once you find that comfortable position, let yourself stay there for five solid breaths. Once again, big, long, deep yoga breaths. Noticing if there's anywhere that you can adjust now that we're going through. Noticing if the mind has begun to drift as we're three quarters the way through. And on that last exhale, begin to slowly bring your hips back down into contact with the bolster or bolster substitute. And roll off to one side, come back to your seat. Go ahead and move that bolster buddy out of your way, but keep it close. We'll find our way all the way down onto our backs at this point. Knees will be bent and in towards the chest. So find some happy rolls here. Massaging out that low back that we've just stretched quite a bit. And then going in the opposite direction if you haven't already, leveling out the rotations. And take both of your hands over your right knee here. Inhale your left foot up into the air. And exhale to lower it all the way down. Big inhale to hug that knee in towards your armpit. And exhale here. Take three deep breaths for the health of it. Not only are we feeling good and compressing all of those connective areas for our muscles in our hips and the meat of some of our but we're also compressing our lymphatic system there and promoting good digestion by breathing into the belly. On the next exhale, draw that knee over to the left side for a supine twist. Now if you do have a block handy, this is where you might use it under your knee because we'll be here for a few minutes. And if you do have that bolster handy still, you can also bring it behind you. I'm not there to put it behind you today, guys. But you can see that I have it up against my back. I normally have it down, but I have it up so that you guys can see it. But it's simply to act almost as if a supportive cushion or a travel pillow of some sort. Something that makes you feel really supported. Your gaze, if not already there, can turn over that right shoulder that should be close to the ground, if not completely on it. And find your breath deeply and purely here. Once again, perhaps playing with the idea, with the noticing of the parts of your body that are against the ground. And drawing that energy up and through your body until the ungrounded becomes grounded. Self stay present with your breath or with the sensation of grounding rather than letting your mind drift off. Let yourself stay present for the last three seconds. 
cycles of breath here. Begin if you have that bolster against your back or pillow to remove it. Coming back into contact with the ground on your spine and hug that knee in towards your chest once again. And find any circles, any movements that you need through that knee. Let that leg rest back down and take a short shavasana for about two here to let yourself simply feel the differences between your two sides. On the next inhale, hug that left knee in towards your chest. And then hug it in towards your armpit, finding that lovely when removing pose and taking some deep breaths because it's good for you. And then it massages your descending colon and also another set of lymphatic nodes. So take one more deep, full belly breath here. And on the next exhale, draw that knee over to the right side of your body. Once again, option to use that block or block substitute under your knee. Option once again to grab a bolster or bolster substitute to hug up against your back. And I can show you on this side that the bolster is actually down against the ground. And that way this arm comes down. Let your eyes close and perhaps your right hand comes down to your stomach to feel your body breathing itself as you focus in on the grounding energy moving up through your right leg, your right shoulder, and rooting down through anywhere that still feels a little ungrounded. Letting the earth's calm vibrations move through your body and staying focused on your breath. Once again, if it begins to escape you, if your mind begins to wander, focus back in on your breath by either feeling it physically with the touch of your hand on your stomach or simply being mindful of it. Take one more full and complete breath here. Begin to move the bolster from your back. You can move it all the way from your space at this point in time. And moving that block out of the way so you don't hit it in your Shavasana. Go ahead and hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze and take three belly breaths here. Puffing up as much as you can on the inhales. And feeling your thighs squeeze against your stomach on the exhales. After that third exhale, find your way into happy baby with your feet up, knees bent in towards your armpits, shoulders back and down, and perhaps find some rocking left and right here. Finding a press up with your feet and a roll back and down with your shoulders should encourage the lowest part of your spine down onto the ground, taking out some of the curvature and allowing you to really massage out your muscles. Take it for about two more breaths, either with or without motion. And exhale to hug those knees back in. Squeeze your fingers, squeeze your toes, squeeze your nose, squeeze everything in and give yourself a hug like you're someone that you love very much. The same love that you give out to everyone else in the world. Take a big inhale here. Feel that love radiate through your body. And exhale, open up to your final Shavasana, either with soles together, knees apart, or a traditional Shavasana. Let yourself settle in, taking as much time as you'd like here, for time's sake, 
If you want to go deeper, stay longer, feel free to pause me. If you're ready to move on with your practice, I don't quite encourage. I wish you a very happy evening. And from my heart to yours, namaste.